uh, greeting everybody day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, all my subscribers, all viewers, everybody in the YFRC. But I decided to go ahead and empty out all the concentrates that were in this bucket. I generally wait until later on in the winter because <laughs> it gives me something to do when you start to get Jones and to go to the river. But so I got them all in here and. I've been running for oh, a little while now. I got about half of them run. This is what I call the PlayStation of Green Mountain Gold Trap. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here running them down. See how much gold is in this? Probably won't be a whole lot, but what I will end up doing is. I won't be discarding these. This will be the second time these have been run. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to end up draining this system within the next week or so. And uh, I'll be letting these dry out and sit until springtime. And then I'm going to run them. I'll bring them to the river back where they came from and run them through the trap. And it's a good test for the Green Mountain Gold Trap. I did this, I think, last year, or early this year, I ran the concentrates from last year, and that's in one of my other videos, uh, I can't remember what the video is called, but it's myself and Kevin from uh, um, New England, I can't, can't remember the name of his channel, but anyway, um, but it did catch gold, and those were run twice, so we'll see. Uh, We'll see what I get out of this, and then in the springtime you'll see a video of me running what I end up going through for the second time now, and we'll see what the uh, gold trap can capture. And of course, third run, being in the trap in the spring, will be like extremely tiny gold, if anything. So I'll keep running, and when I get it panned down, we'll uh, we'll see what's in it. We shall see what's in it. I've already seen some gold in the matting but I'll keep going and we'll get back to you in a short bit here all right here they are got it all cleaned out all ready to pan so we shall see now I'm listening to this I'm thinking Rachel you're a metalhead <laughs> you know what it is. Hallelujah. Oh, Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and pan this back. I gotta turn the system back on here. There we go. It just keeps water inside there while I pan it. Makes it easier. Alright. Get back in a bit. Alright, time to shut it down. Shut it down. So I got a fairly decent little line of gold out of that. It's all extremely tiny, 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 tiny. Very tiny. I mean, that's got to be like 400 mesh. <laughs> Lots of it in there, though. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that into my other final take from the last, I don't know, maybe five, six times out, four or five, I don't know. Some nice little chunky pieces in there. So I'll just throw it in there and add that to my vial. Alright, so that concludes the run at the PlayStation at Green Mountain Gold Trap. And I am done. There, I just dumped it in, but I just remembered something. You want to see something cute? <laughs> you want to see something really cute? There's, look at this. Jersey History Hunters. Garbage. Damn thing. Won't even pick up a one gram nugget on the ground by itself, not buried. Stupid.
Any ideas? But anyway, want to see something cute, 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 cute? The newest, uh, <laughs> we've got the, uh, the full size three foot riverbed hog, the mini pay streak finder. And <laughs> I got bored. I got bored. Wanted something to do. Got tubes in it and everything. <laughs> That's just cute. All right, time to go. See ya.